guys welcome back to auto repair guys if you guys have a noisy power steering pump after you replace power steering pump or a power steering line or racking pinion stay with us guys and we'll show you how to fix that the procedure is not very complicated but it's if it's not fixed right guys you will need a brand new power steering pump why because there is some air pockets that will get stuck in the pump and it will run dry and you will end up needing a new pump guys so stay with us we'll show you how to bleed your uh, power steering pump how to make that noise go away and we will explain what you need to do without any special tools please guys subscribe to the channel we'll be having more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can so let's start on it now so what we did guys here we actually uh, did an engine replacement on this Mazda guys right here and as a result we had to drain all the power steering pump it's the same like putting a new pump or a new line okay this is the engine okay right there you can see this is uh, the replacement engine with the new power steering pump from the other engine, but everything is bone dry the system. So when you guys, okay, when you start working on your car and the power steering pump, always open your manual. Usually you go to specifications or capacities and you need to find the fluid that your power steering pump uses. In our case, this Mazda vehicle uses ATF. This is automatic transmission fluid M3. Mercon 5 or equivalent such as Dextron 2. So it doesn't even take, okay, as you can see, it doesn't even guys take power steering fluid. It takes automatic transmission fluid. So you always need to double check that. So first step, we're going to go ahead and open the reservoir, power steering pump reservoir, and we're going to get it to the full line. Now one mistake guys, if you have a used power steering pump or something, check this thing out. The reservoir already has a line like it's full that black line but it's not it's just a cover the plastic is covered from all the fluid and stuff like that so actually it's completely empty so you need to be extremely careful we are going to go ahead okay uh, get the fluid now and we'll start adding some okay until we reach uh, we reach the full mark now okay we're going to do that until we reach the full mark and we'll guys continue so we guys, I overfilled it a little bit. If you overfill it later and it's still over the full mark, you have to be careful guys. Okay, and drain some. Now, next step, do not start your car. Okay, I don't know how important that thing is to emphasize, but do not start your car. You need to have your tires in the air. Okay, you can see tire in the air on this side, on the front left side. Okay, and the front right side right here wheels need to be in the air why because we'll be turning the steering wheel left and right without starting the car and you need to have absolutely no resistance that way all the air will come out of the system so we'll have one person guys okay we'll have one person that will go ahead and okay slowly we'll start turning the steering wheel all the way from left to right and backwards i'll tell you when okay i want to just uh, make a Okay, show you here guys what's going to happen to the fluid. So, let's turn the steering wheel left to right, slowly. Okay, turn, turn, turn. More. Okay, check out all the air coming out of the system. And it took the fluid guys. And then we go the other way. Okay, air came out, so let's go. Yep, perfect. And we keep doing that guys, okay. We keep doing left to right. And you're going to do that for okay do it for about 30 seconds check your level and then do it for another two minutes check your level again and then do it again guys probably all together about five minutes that way you're going to get all the air out of the system and you will not have that noise and you're not going to mess up your power steering pump and you will make sure that your power steering pump will be in good condition and functioning okay here we definitely went down quite a bit I still see the thing, okay check it out, okay right there, but you can see how much we went down and ours wasn't all the way, all the way drained, uh, but that's guys the procedure, okay stay with us, we're going to start the car and see what it will sound like. So guys, I'm inside this Mazda now, we're going to attempt to start it, okay, and see what's going to happen with the power steering pump. Okay, if you hear any strange noises coming out of the power steering pump, shut the car off immediately, jack it up again, okay, and 
just do the bleeding procedure for a few more minutes because the f uh, otherwise you have air pockets and the pump will make run dry, create uh, high pressure blowouts or uh, in addition guys the, the power steering fluid will foam inside and will cause high pressure okay and that foam you have to let the car sit for about uh, two to three hours for the foam to go away so you can retest it again I'm checking it now absolutely no noise so that definitely took care of our problem so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time